guys with me today and today I'm gonna show you how to jailbreak your iPod Touch second generation MC model 4.2.1 as you can see mine is an iPod Touch just second generation and I jailbreak it see and I have this one let me know let me get on and unlock it. You can see there's the monitor. And in case you can so first you have four point two point one. Uh you have to do is um downgrade it to four point one. Okay, so and the way you can do that is just by going to um this what this website, let me get it here. Um, okay, uh, oh, I'm having some difficulties, so thank you, so, just need, need to wait a couple of minutes, okay, found it, yeah, okay, so you need to, sorry for that, okay, you need to go to, you need to go to www.helixburns.d slash ipod slash homework okay, and you should see a page for this <coughs> okay and it says ipod iphone homework down and you just want to scroll down to ipod or so you just, just want to scroll down to the uh, to the iPod where it says iPod Touch, not the one that says iPod. And we're gonna go to uh, scroll down and scroll down. And we're gonna go to iPod Touch second generation and so you find 4.1. And then just download it, which it's downloading right now, which I I don't need to download it, but it's gonna download it so you can see. And just make sure you save it to your desktop. Now you need to go to another website, it's Snow Freeze. It's shoutpedia.com that slash dot com slash download um, one of the Snow Freeze 2.1 for Windows. It's gonna be in the description and when you get there, you should download this for snow breeze and and um and, and as you can see it's for version 3.2 and slash 4.1 and just download it says download snow breeze and I don't know I think this is for Mac and uh, it's good. so when you download it <coughs> it should kind of just extract the file and then you should get like one of these you know one of these and you just but first you need to downgrade and how you do that is first you plug in your clicker. It doesn't need to be a it doesn't have to be a be a female, just plug it in and do a plug. Okay. Okay. Okay now if Okay, now I want to leave it. Okay, now just ignore that and just uh, open iTunes or if it's automatically going to open, just let it open. Okay, let's wait. Sorry for that black thing. Okay, now once it's open, you're gonna scroll down, scroll down until you see your device. Okay. Okay. Is it because I already, I already um, downloaded from 4.2.1 and 4. And uh, just ignore that. Do not. Okay. Now you go to the device and over here where you say it stores. Um. Uh. Click the. Click the shift button on the keyboard and click restore. I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna click the 
first take the shift button, then restore. And again, that's gonna come up. And when you download it, um, your uh, firmware, you should um, you should go where it's located, which mine is located at download. And do that, and it says mine. It should say iPod two slash one down down slash four point one a b one one seven restore. And click that, which I'm not gonna click it because I click it, everything's gonna go wrong. And <coughs> and let it restore. And, and when you're done, it should say I need capacity. And get a version point four point one. Okay. Okay. Now when it, when it's done. Okay. Now once it's done, uh, <coughs> what you want to do is open Snow Breeze. Okay. Let it open. I feel guys, this is the first time I don't see no videos on YouTube saying how to download it. I just experiment. Okay, so once it comes up, I should say, hey, let me get it. This hardware is not for commercial use. Just ignore that and it's for okay. Okay. Taking a throw thing. Oh yeah, and do not update to 4.2. Okay. Okay, this is only for um, iPod Touch users that have 4.1 and their NT model and their NT model and the second generation. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna walk out of there. Okay, eh, uh, oh yeah. Okay, now when you close the, uh, mm, wasn't for commercial use only, just post credit until you see the page. Okay, now, oh, uh, and you scroll down, you should see like a little, like a little arrow, you just click, and it says, well, uh, please browse your IP, but, uh, IP file. The IP file is your, your version. So now you're gonna you're gonna find it where you lo is located. Make sure you use the same one you used to um, to downgrade your iPod Touch. And once you use it, just script it and open and identify a file and waiting for waiting for that. Okay. Okay, it says it's just nice. It says a part touch. And that's actually how it is. Next, you're gonna click next. And this is the well. It's not hard. Everything's the same. And the simple mode is the simple mode. It just um, install Cydia, and that's all I know. Cydia, APC, SSH for Apple TV, and another recommended stuff I don't know. And the expo mode, it lets you customize the options, such as custom groups and local particular type and starter options. Okay, if you're just the first time you do it, I suggest you do simple mode. But if you want um, wallpaper and background and all that stuff, I suggest you do the extra mode. In the simple mode, you just click and it's automatically gonna start on um, jet breaking. Now, if you click the extra mode, just make sure it has the check and click next. Okay. Okay, now first you're gonna click general. And you're gonna click next. And you should just 
Gigi well, I should check to put enable the background paper and the battery percentage. And okay, and that's all. I I don't really like enable when negative multitask because it just slows down your device. So once you enable that, just click next. Just click to skip that. And then the IPS and click no next. And then it's gonna check for all files and once it's done. It's gonna tell you what to do. It's just gonna tell you. I can't do it right now. It's, it's gonna start jailbreaking, but I have to cancel right now. Because then it's gonna start jailbreaking my output touch. But once that's done, and it's gonna tell you to put it into DFO mode, and it's gonna tell you how to do it. Okay, so thanks for watching. And this is a first, and yeah. Okay, so this is, this is the first time I jailbroke my output touch, and then, Okay, and then when you when you're finished, you well, it, next is gonna when it's that's done, it's just gonna tell you jailbreak it, and it's gonna tell you how to do that and put your device into the mode. and that's how to jailbreak your RPod Touch second generation MC model 4.4.2.1 slash 4.1. Thank you.